Hi, I'm Roxy Lang. Today is Sunday, October 11th, 2020. And it's just another beautiful day today. And we thank the Lord and sing His praise because He gives us beautiful days to enjoy. So thank you so much, Father God, for all that you have given us. You are mighty. And I hope that you were able to get to church today and have a wonderful service at church. And if you had Sunday school at church, then how wonderful. So I hope you're enjoying Children's Church as we continue to read through the people of the Bible. It's been a very, very fun uh, book to read, and I've just been enjoying it so much. So yesterday we talked about Joshua, and he went into the city of Jericho, and the, the people there are afraid of the Israelites. He sent spies into the city of Jericho, and Rahab hid the spies on her roof and helped them to escape. So that was our story yesterday. So we'll see. And then they're going to cross the Jordan River. And the walls went up just like when the Israelites passed the Red Sea. So God made another miracle for them so they could pass the Jordan River on dry ground. So today we'll finish the story of Joshua. So Father in heaven, we just thank and praise your name. We thank you for this day. We thank you for church. We thank you for our leaders. And we thank you, Father God. We thank you for America, for living in America, this wonderful land that you have given us. America is your country, Father God. And we just pray for continued peace and joy and life to the abundance, life to the full, blessings upon blessings that you promise your people. In Jesus' name, amen. So the first song we'll sing today is Blessed Be the Name of the Lord. <clears throat> And I don't think we've sang this song before. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord most high. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord most high. And I think that is actually the chorus of the song, but um, it's just fun to sing those little parts of it, just to get them embedded in our hearts. So we just think about the blessings of the Lord and the blessed, blessed be the name of the Lord, because the Lord's name is blessed and he blesses us. This is the day the Lord has made. And that is another Bible verse. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. We will rejoice, we will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made, we will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. And aren't you happy and joyful that the Lord gives us beautiful days to enjoy? And every day is a beautiful day. When we choose to make it a beautiful day, we can choose to be inside and be happy or to be outside and be happy. We can be happy in good times and just be filled with the joy of the Lord because the joy of the Lord is what gives us happiness. There's nothing else on this earth that can give us the joy besides the Lord being in our hearts, isn't it? The next song, Praise Praise Him, Praise Him. And I'm not sure if we sang this song ever before again, but this song just kind of came up when I was um, reading through the Bible. And then I remembered that there was a song like this that we sang when I was little. So I don't think we sang this song before. So it's a, possibly a new song to learn. Praise Him, Praise Him, all ye little children. God is love, God is love. Praise Him, Praise Him, all ye little children. God is love, God is love. Thank Him, thank Him, all ye little children. God is love, God is love. Thank Him, thank Him, all ye little children. God is love, God is love. Serve Him, serve Him, all ye little children. God is love, God is love. Serve Him, serve Him. All you little children, God is love, God is love. And I don't think we sing that, but that is a very, very sweet song to sing, sing to the Lord. And remember, He just loves it when we sing. He loves hearing our voices. He loves it when we sing praises to Him. He loves it when we thank Him. And are you remembering to thank the Lord every morning when you get up? Thank Him for the day. Thank Him for the weather that He gives us. Thank you for your bed that you sleep in. 
Thank you for your stuffed animals or your real animals. Maybe you might have a kitty or a dog or a hamster or some fish to look at. We just remember to thank the Lord every day because there are so many things that we can be thankful for. Our food and the warm house or the air conditioner, clothes that we wear, the vehicles that we drive in, the people who take care of us, the teachers at school, the teachers and the pastors at churches that we attend. There's just so many things that we can be thankful for. So remember to thank the Lord when you get up in the morning. Just thank and praise his holy name. So I like that song and we're going to continue to sing that song. And I'm, I'm uh, grateful that the Lord gives me new songs to, that we can sing and that you can, can learn more about God and the songs that we sing and just sing songs to be grateful and thankful for our Lord. Okay, <clears throat> so we're going to continue in the story of Joshua. So yesterday, they crossed through the Jordan River. And now, the people of Jericho, they saw the Israelites coming. And just like Rahab told them yesterday, Rahab said, Our people, we're afraid of you. The people in Jericho are afraid of the Israelites. We know that you're going to take over this land. And we're afraid. So the people of Jericho saw the Israelites coming straight towards them. Trembling with fear, they shut all the gates to the city. No one could go in and no one could go out. Yet God had a plan. He told Joshua to take the Israelites and march around the city once. Then they should do this on the next day, and the next day, and the next day. On the seventh day, they shall march around seven times. They marched around the city of Jericho. There was high, high walls of bricks. But God said, I've got a plan. March around that city and see what happens. Joshua did just as God told him. The priests went first, carrying their trumpets. Then came the army and the rest of the Israelites. So the priests led them, the army followed the, the priests, and then all the Israelites followed after the army. I bet you the people in Jericho were so, so afraid when they saw the Israelites coming. They marched around the city for six days. The priests blew the trumpets just like God asked them to do. But nobody was allowed to say a word. So they just went around the city. They marched around, but God said, don't say anything. On the seventh day, can you see what happened? Everything starts crashing down. On the seventh day, they marched seven times around the city. And what did God do? God made those walls from come crashing down. The walls of Jericho came crashing down. That was God's plan. When we obey God's plan, then things work out the way God wants it to, doesn't it? The last march around, the priests blew their horns. Then Joshua yelled, shout! And all the Israelites shouted. The Israelites shouted. They shouted loud. And the walls of Jericho came crumbling and crashing down to the ground. The Israelites went into the fallen city. They found Rahab, who had helped the spies. So remember, Rahab said, please help me. Help me be safe and help my family be safe to get out of Jericho alive. So they found her and they kept her safe. She was unhurt because she helped the spies. She, she was doing what God wanted her to do to help, to help them, to help them capture the city of Jericho. The spies went in there and, and Rahab hid them on her roof and then she helped them out the big window and, and told the soldiers that they went the opposite way. Rahab and her family were taken away to a safe place. Then the Israelites burned the city. Everything was destroyed because that was supposed to be the Israelite city. 
God helped Joshua and the Israelites win city after city because God told them, this is your land. I brought you here because these other people aren't listening to me. They don't, they don't know me. They don't want to know me. So I'm going to give you this land. This is your land. So that's why it's important to follow God and to listen God, l listen to God and obey him because when we don't, we'd be in that city and we'd be one of those that would be have to move out and go elsewhere because when God says the land is yours, it's ours, isn't it? Soon the entire land of Canaan was theirs. Now they could rest. The Israelites praised God for their victory. They knew they didn't win their battles themselves. Instead, God was fighting for them just like God fights for us in our battles. When there's battles and, and evil people and mean people against us and God says, I'll fight your battle. Let me help you fight that battle. Just listen to me. Have me in your heart and hear my words and I will win that battle for you. He had kept his promise to give them a beautiful land. They began to build. They began to build new homes throughout Canaan because that land was theirs. And that is the end of our story today. So what happened? Did you like that story? Did God fulfill his promises, his word to the Israelites? When he told them that that land is going to be yours, because the people who live there, they don't follow me, so I'm going to give you that land. And God fulfilled his promise, didn't he? <clears throat> so what did you like about that story? I like the part where the Israelites came in to Jericho, and they shut the doors on them that nobody could go in or go out. And what did God have them do? He had them walk around, march around. God said, march, march around that big wall of Jericho for seven days, for six days on the seventh time, walk seven times around it. But don't make a word until the last day. When I tell you to shout, then you can shout. So the Israelites did what God asked them to do and the whole walls fell down. Isn't that amazing what God can do? He made those walls fall down for the Israelites so that they could go in and take over that city and that land would be theirs. So that's what I like about that story. I like it when they walked around that city. It always amazes me that they, on the seventh day, the seventh time around, that, that those huge walls, those walls of brick, they all came tumbling down. So we thank the Lord that he blesses us, that he protects us, and God says, I will give you favor. I will bless you. I will fight this battle for you. When we give our battles to the Lord, and he wins those battles for us. He's victorious in our lives. He's victorious over our battles, so we don't have to battle alone. God is there for us. He's fighting before us, and he fights for us, doesn't he? So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. And God loves you. Jesus loves you and I love you. And thank you so much for watching. Remember to share it with your neighbors and friends and relatives and brothers and sisters and cousins. Because everybody needs to know the love of the Lord. So enjoy the rest of your day and we'll have another day of Children's Church tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching.